Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Planet Coaster, uh, where we're completing scenarios. So, and, uh, oh, excuse me, as I, like, inhale half my, uh, face there. Uh, we're still on Gobi's Island Paradise. I think we'll finish it this episode, though. We've got to get about 17 grand in value. Uh, the park guests will come along with that, and we'll get some vendors in as well. Um, not particularly worried about it. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Um, I think one of the things that I should do, though, uh, is this locked? Uh, it's not good. Good, good, good. Uh, one of the things I should do is try to give a little bit of help to this guy. Um, I need to see about getting it so that he can actually get some riders. Uh, I was hoping to move it back this way somewhere. It looks like I just had a spot there for a second. Uh, right there kind of works. I must have collisions turned off because that's kind of funky. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and turn that back on there. And now let's move the ride and see. You still think you can go there? How do you possibly think that's a way you can work? Half of you's in the ground. I did turn those off, right? Did I just forget to hit apply or something? So your reputation is close to a collision. Uh, why is it letting me put that through the ground? I don't quite understand. A really loud ride. Um, hmm. Well, maybe we need to redo these paths a little bit over here to get this guy over here. Because what I want to do is get this over here. Um, I just don't think I want to use this corner as I originally thought. Though, hold on, wait. Where was it? Where was it? It was here. Yeah. So we're gonna get it to reconnect where it was. Uh, cannot. Um, it was here. So I guess if I tuck it in a little more this direction, I could get it to go in there. But I just really want to try to get people over here where they're already walking, get different rides to complement one another. Um, I could probably get in over here. I had... This is all a path I created right here. All of this, in fact. So what I think we should do is bring that all in a little tighter. Okay, so for now, let's just put you somewhere. It's not like you're getting people. Um, and fix all of this. Um, we're going to move you to probably over here. Wow, that arch is not part of the building, sadly. Uh, I don't want angle snapping. I also, yeah, we do want a flatten train if it'll let me. Um, let's go ahead and try to get this guy in like here. Whoop, 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 whoop. Not done with you. Um, let's put a gold beer right here. There we go. Should be two shops in there. Why aren't they both connecting? Uh, one is elevated and one isn't. That's kind of strange, isn't it? Why, kind of really strange? Why is the other one not connecting to a path? Hmm. <laughs> now it is, but it's elevated. There, wait, I had it. Oof. What's going on with this building? So, like, that part of it over there is... above the ground. Parts of it are hovering. We don't need hovering buildings. Right? Right? There. Okay, this thing was clearly meant to be, like, built into a hill or something. Um... Hmm. Maybe it's just this terrain right here. Oh, it is the train right here. I see now. Yeah, the train here is kind of funky. So what we'll do is we'll put this here, I think. Um, let's see this side still above. I'm just like hovering in the air. Like a lot of it is. Uh, there we go. That gets everything properly in the ground the way it should be but then my shops are like sunken down so hot dog squad <laughs> well now it's fine what in the world? all right there we go 
Somehow that magically built a path there too. Don't ask me how, it just did. There, okay, so that's over here now. Um, though did I just say I wanted to move the path? I did, why did I do that? Um, Cause I'm not thinking, that's why. We need shops over this way. Okay, so we're gonna remove you again. Sorry. Uh, we're gonna move you like right here if you'll fit. Oh, you'll fit, totally fine. And you'll give a nice little bit of scenery to the back side of this queue here. Like right up against it. There we go. And then let's go see where we're positioned on this side. Um, you know, I think I'm just happy with that as is. Ah, that just works. Cool. Hot dog squad. Yeah, that works for me. And then we'll get the uh, arch that was there with it. Uh, you. Come here. Uh, actually, I want all of you. Can I not have all of you? Great. Awesome. Uh, multi-select, and let's see if I can get just those three things. Yes, I can. There we go. And you go right here somehow. We'll figure it out here. Um... About there, let's, let's put it farther back above the building. Actually, yeah, that's where it was. It was like here, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's where it was. It was lining up with that. Okay, so I need to go above you, get this turned. About the same angle as the building here. There we go. Then we just need to move you that way a little bit. Maybe that way just a bit. You're still not quite lined up right here. There we go. How's that look? Fantastical. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it worked. Okay. So that's that. Done. Dun, 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 dun. Um, so that gets that out of there. And that means I now have these picnic tables and everything that were there. Uh, for that, let's see if we can't make a little area of the seating here. Um, here we go. Select grid off of... Yeah, I don't really know what I want to select grid off of. I guess this guy? Yeah. And we'll put um, like a seating area right here for those picnic benches. Um, where does it go? Let's go ahead and fill that in too. And that. And we'll just have a nice big open area there. And then we will deselect grid and we'll connect it all up right here. And then again over here. And we'll get rid of these guys here. We're not getting rid of them, but we will move them to surround the seating area in a pleasing fashion. Arrange them aesthetically, aesthetically, aesthetics. All right. Are we aligning things to the surface again? Stop that. Uh, whoa, what's your sub dude? Whoa. Um, bring you down. Well, these to be just slightly irregularly, you know, just kind of like, I like that they're just kind of laying around sometimes. Like, I'm actually going to leave that one just kind of there. I like it. Um, I like you right here, but I want to re-angle you just a smidge. I like that they're using that path as a shortcut to get through. That's kind of awesome. I know we haven't added any new value yet, but this is this is preliminary work here, so that I can make more room over here. Um, so then these guys need to come with to over here. Well, you can really see that that's a grid, can't you? Um. Gonna just haphazardly throw them down. You, I want to move, but I want you to position snap. Thank you. Uh, just working at a huge distance over here. We'll put the other one with an umbrella, like uh, in this corner here. Yeah, lovely place for you. And we'll go back and move these in a little bit better in just a second. Just getting them in for now. Getting it in. Yes, sir. Um, move you. 
to like here. Uh, we have a Vista point there for some reason. I don't think we really need a Vista. Oh, I was, I was trying to convince people that they needed to come over here. That's what that's all about. Um, you need a trash can because people throw stuff away in your shops. And so that trash can was there. And then move this one to like here for these guys. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Um, all right, so let us now in the darkness, take a look at what we have here. All right, so you, I'd like you to move just a little bit more like here, like this, and then you join him. There we go. Just these are a little bunched up. I don't like it, and I don't like that they're all like going the same direction. So we're gonna have you like that, and then you like. Uh, there, and I think that's plenty of tables, honestly. It's not like anybody's really too terribly interested in using them at the moment anyway, so that'll be all right. Um, and then let's go ahead and duplicate a tree here. This one. Actually, we'll probably put more than one here. Maybe that big one, too. Uh, nope. Get down on the ground, please. Thank you. And go ahead and give me the little one, too. There you go. Just, uh... Oh, whoop, 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 where do you think you're going, mister? And there. Just to give that a nice little something, something there. And we'll do the same with some stuff there. Okay, so now I can clear all this path out that I made earlier. Get rid of it completely. Uh, we'll move the security somewhere. I don't really know where. How about right there? So if somebody tries to decide to steal your lunch from you, it can be recorded. Uh... All right, so we don't need any of this pathing now that I put in a long time ago. We may come back to it though, so I think, I just think I'll leave it in for now. Yeah, I'll just leave it in for now over there, but this stuff back here, I definitely want to get rid of because it's just not necessary anymore. All of this has to go. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and get the stuff that goes to the ship out of here as well. Just so I can see what's going on. Any other paths that I missed? No, but I see some props that we don't need. I saw a bench here somewhere. Oh, right, sorry if I sound a little all nasally today. Once again, you know, cold allergies, just the the usual fun, happy times. All right, so where does this? Go. I could probably tuck this in closer to this hill, right? Starting right here. To give me some more space. So I want to get a couple rides over here. Like a bunch, actually. And get rid of all of this for now. Alright, so... Uh, you go away. And you go away. And you go away. Okay, so that cleans all that up. I want the path to come over here, and then from here, I don't really know. Yeah, I want it to come down here, but I don't think we need to reconnect there. Um, I mean, yeah, I just don't think that's necessary. So, let's get ourselves some more space here for a ride. Um, by bringing this up tighter to our outdoor patio eatery spot thingy here. That's the official name for it, the outdoor eatery spot thingy. And we're gonna just bring this right around the backside here. Right up against this ride. Just enough so that we can have a plant or something in there. And I want to get down here ground level so I can see when it's really starting to get like ankle breaking on our slopes yeah you see we don't want it to go up that slope there when it's come around and be a nice path be a gentle path uh that's this should be fine there a little bit of a slope to it but that's okay as long as it's not like you know massively cantilevered is that the word i'm looking for cantilevered downhill there we go so then all you gotta do is adjust some foliage and rocks 
which are hopefully not locked. They are not cool. So we'll just bump you over like that. Bump you over as well. And like that. Should take care of you. Yeah, takes care of you. And then same with Mr. Tree. There, that takes care of the path. Now let's bump you back just a, a smidgen. A scotch. A scotch. I can't talk today. Okay, so there we go. Um, that might give me more room for stuff. Let's go ahead and move the boat back here. Um, do magic like this. Move him way back. Oh, we don't want a tree growing through it, though. There we go. Um, and then we'll probably go ahead and move the campfire as well. No need to have it there. We'll just put you... Are you trying to make it look like the boat was on fire? Or are you actually trying to be a campfire? Hold on. Because you are kind of like just there. Oh, I see what it's trying to accomplish. Okay, we can do that. Um, wait, wasn't there like... All of that scenery was over here earlier? I don't know. All right, so then to make room for this... Or to our right over here, we're going to move all this stuff back. And then we're going to get rid of these trees for now. And stuff. We can always revegetate later. That's a word, vegetate. All right. And then my goal is to have right here a, uh, da -da 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 -da, a river rapids, I think. But let's see if the poor old uh, a octopus can fit here now because nobody provides this damn thing. No, you can't fit there? Just barely. You can probably fit here, though. Yeah, you can fit there just fine. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, let us put our exit right here. And the entrance right where it is. So I want to... There, like right there. Let's get it right next to the path here. There we go. And then what I need to do is move our little sign that is advertising the octopus. Here, give it to me. And split that from the building. And then move it. And we'll put it uh, on this guy. On this sign here. I would like you to align the surface now, please, so that I can just kind of see what I'm doing. Um, that's actually pretty good. Just need to tilt it down. Yeah, we're good. We are good. And are you still advertising Rocktopus? You are. So that means we need to get a cue for Rocktopus here. Did I just hear that guy say, hey, old chum? I really think I did. So we'll test you as while well. we're placing a cue. Connect entrance to a path. Easy, easy. Uh, I wish there were natural cues. I really do. I really wish we had those. All right, so what I want to do is kind of what we've been doing, follow it along the side of the ride. And this stuff, oop, we don't want people to chop their heads off inside the boat though. And right out here, like, do I want to go ahead and just go out? I don't really foresee it getting a lot of riders, sadly. Like, I mean, it never gets riders. <laughs> but having it over here by some other stuff might help it. Because I'm also going to put in another ride over here. Possibly, possibly. Um, hmm, We might not get this done in this video. I thought we would. Hoping, ah, oh, it's too big. I was hoping the Screaminator would fit here. That is disappointing. Hmm. Oh, here's a Screaminator. Okay, I was looking at the wrong ride. I might be able to make this fit. Or not. What? What exactly are you obstructed by here? Hmm. I would really like the screaming eater to go here. Okay, let's uh try to move this boat piece here. I mean, if that's what's doing it, we can get rid of it. Let's move you to here. All right, screaming eater, I want you right here, man. 
come on. I know you can fit here. Really? What is... Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, I wasn't quite done with you, though. There we go. Oh, nope. Doggle it again. Still not quite done with it. All right, so I want the exit to actually be up front here. Uh, so that when they get off, they are really happy, excited, and will hopefully come get on one of these rides. Um, or do I want the exit on this side? Hmm, I don't know. Uh, what I'll do is put the entrance. Oh, gosh, this is going to be really close. Right, really close here. Um, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I could tuck in a queue just barely right here, I think, and the exit right there. I think I can make this work. Oh, it's going to be close, though. Exit. We're just going to go right there. Place the entrance. So you did that already. Okay. Oh, yeah. This is going to be really, really close for what I want to do here. But I think I can make this work. This usually has a really long line, so I want to take advantage of all this space here. And we'll put in some barriers to decorate this up. Ah, uh, you can't make that turn. Crap. All right, so I have it come here, one, and then right here. Can we, can we connect right here? We're going to go as far this way as possible. That's it. That's all I'm getting. Okay, I need to bring up uh, my little spreadsheet thingy and bobber because I don't remember what to do for the discriminator. I think it just needs to go up and down twice, but I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. Um. Let's go in here. I'm pretty sure it's just tower drop twice. I think that's it. I'm going to go ahead and test it under that. Ooh, that is loud. The Screaminator tower drop twice. Yeah, and I can get some good money for that, honestly. Like, that little sheet says I get 25 bucks out of it. And we will decorate it up later if necessary. What do we do to our park value, though? Whoops. Not what I wanted. Uh, yeah, I brought it up a little bit. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so what I need to do now is go back to paths and just get this railing on these guys. Whoops. Um, what railing on ground path here? Why aren't you giving me a railing, man? Oh, that's because you don't have railings. This does. Ooh, how did I do that? How did I get that railing but leave it on sand? How did I manage that? Yeah, something's not working right here. Railing, really, really, really. Pass the forge curve, so curve, really on ground path. Really on ground Q. Okay, there we go. All right, so. Yeah, but I don't want to paint it. I just want it. There we go. That's how you do it. That's all I want is that nice little look to it right there. So I'm hoping that with this exiting here, maybe they'll walk right here and want to get on this ride. I don't know if that will be a thing they'll do or not. Let's speed this up so we can get the test done here. And open up, see if this does for traffic back here. I'm hoping it also pulls some people back here to this guy. I know it kind of obstructs the view of it, but whatever. All right, back down, open it, go. Let's see what we do for people. Instantly, people coming back here to ride this thing. The queue looks fast. I want to go on it. People love this ride. Screaminator's always been popular. See, now look, we've got people coming over here to ride this. It's a first. Because it's not back here by itself anymore. I'm really hoping that when this empties out, they'll be like, hey, I want to now get on this ride and have some fun. Some more fun. I don't have enough money to go on Screaminator. We might need an ATM back here. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, we need to um, change this to only a full load. Get rid of the minimum and change the maximum to something like 300 because that seats a lot of people. And then it breaks down a lot, so we're going to inspect it a lot. And there we go. Now, see, I was nowhere near full. All right, where does everybody go? That way. They think about going that way, and then they don't do it. Great. Awesome. Um, I wonder if... I mean, if we connect this path up here... If that will encourage people to, whoops, come out. I really didn't want that railing there on that, so we will get rid of it. 
Oh, I don't want the railing. I don't want railing. I don't want railing. I don't want railing. So can we change that, please? It's still putting railing on the ground path. Oh, there, there we go. Helps if you pick the right one. There we go. Well, some people are coming over here now. It's better than it was. It is old, though. So, I mean, I've got it. It costs like $250 to get on the thing. So that looks like that's filling up. Let's check here. Are you filling up completely? Oh, I need to go up, 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 Hi, people. How are you? Yeah, you're filling up completely. Whoops. Yep. Cool. Awesome. So, so down time. What I want to do for the remainder of this video is figure out where we could put our river rapids. Because I think it'd be cool if I had a river rapids that kind of like ended up like right over here, went out over this way and just came back in. I mean, we've got all this space to work with. We may as well put one in, right? So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to work on that, but I won't bore you with the the building of it. We'll just build it in a quick time lapse. So enjoy the Planet Coaster music. <laughs> So while that's testing, I need to figure out where we can cram in some shops over here because we have bathrooms, but we don't have shops. Um, and we need some because those are there. We really need it like back here. Um, what I'm thinking is use a smaller bathroom setup uh, and make room there. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to have to do. So we're going to kill this building for now. And be like, hey, where'd the bathroom go? <laughs> like, what happened? What happened? I don't understand what happened. Um, let's see what we can do to put in... Um, maybe we can do like some shops and um, put in some... Uh, what sort of thing? The bathroom's on the back side of it. Uh, so that might be a possibility here. Um, Pirate Harbor gift shop. That's one we've already got. Uh, Pirate food stall. Oh, there we go. See, so we can get like food here and then a bathroom in the same type of building, I think. Where are you level? There you are. You're not up in the air. No, I want to edit this though because I don't want my sofritas. They don't sell. They never sell. Whoops, undo, undo, undo. Want him. Thank you. Bye. Oh, <laughs> there we go. And then let's put a different shop in here. Um, I don't know how these new places do. 
I just, I don't know anything about them. I mean, I guess I could try one. Let's put in some ribs. There's a ribbon. That sounds good. Oh, my ring daddy, you too. Do we have a rib sign? Oh, yeah, we do. Just ribbon, baby. Uh, are you not going to attach to that for me? Let me put it right. Well, they're awful American looking for that, but uh, it's it's there, so whatever. Merka. All right, are you hovering in the air? No, I thought you were, but you're not. Okay, so that takes care of food need over here, but we need we have a drink need as well. So, uh, drink blueprint, blueprint, blueprint. Thank you, blueprint. Uh, we could do like a. Adventure Islands type style thingy. We don't really have any piratey things. I'm about to repurpose something here. We have a pirate ATM. Nice to know. That's what we just use. Pirate Fortress Burger Shop. There we can see. We can we can repurpose this guy. Uh, and we can put bathrooms on the back side of that. I think. So we're gonna make you. Uh, wait, can I put bathrooms on the back side of that? Uh, yeah. We can make bathrooms fit back there. So we're going to put it at kind of an angle here. And we're going to get rid of these bushes. Mmm. Not going to be Chief Beef. Edit. And since this is Gulpy Adventure Island, we can only have Gulpy food and drink. So, see? Gulpy slash Gulpy energy. We need some energy in this park. Uh, it doesn't want to let me put it in the middle, so we need to change the uh, grid size. There we go. Now I can put it in the middle. There we go. And then let's make it daylight, shall we? Because I can't see anything. So we have our vendors. This will happen on its own. Uh, but we don't have that 16 that we need just yet. All right, move this to where you're a little better lined up there. And then where on the back am I going to put a bathroom? I know I said I could, but I don't know if that's true or not. Since that is kind of in the middle like that. I mean, let me see here. Is this actually a wall piece? It's a jetty. Oh, that's cool how they did that. I see how they did that. Okay, so what I can do is probably, um, that is brilliant actually how they did that. Um, I am gonna rotate this around and just make another wall out of it. I mean, that's what they've done, so why not? Uh, control, 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 duplicate. No, duplicate and advanced move is what I want. Control X. Can't remember which one that was. Now we know. There you go. And we'll put another one like right there. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't have to be exact. We're just going to use it to hide a bathroom. And turn that. And bring that out. Like that. And then one more. And we'll put some sort of roof on it here. I don't know what yet. First, we gotta see how we're gonna fit a bathroom in there. Restrooms. Oh, I should fit all right. I mean, they're gonna kind of collide through some props, but I'm okay with that. There we go. So let's get a path going back here now to uh, the bathroom. I'm okay with them colliding slightly through. And if you're not, well, I'm sorry. Um, what I want to do, though, is now edit this. And it looks like we're just using that basic wood slat there. Um, so get rid of this. Go to walls. Wood. Uh, we're getting there on our park value. I mean, slowly but surely. Oh, I need the archway for you. There we go. We'll put that in there. And then we'll duplicate uh, these for roof. 
And then bathroom, done. Look at that. Little bathroom hidden back there. Done. Okay, so I put in two new shops. That means I need at least one extra vendor between the two. Gosh, where am I gonna put all these vendors? Uh, look at it, I'm not really sure. I'm gonna get cheat and just hire a bunch of these dudes. Okay, so uh, park management, because we have gone there, we need to uh, make sure they all get their raise. 110 that they'll eventually need. 110. 110, oops, 100. 10 like everybody else. Oh, like everybody else. And they're all gonna be free roaming because everybody's free roaming, I'm pretty sure, yeah. That way they can go to wherever they're needed. How many shops do we have? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I have how many vendors? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, let's go up to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ruben is seven. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I'm gonna hire, have eight, that's all. Yeah, that's enough. We don't need any more than that. Is my lighting back to daytime? It is. So that takes care of this section for food and drink. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going there. And then it's just a matter of, wow, this ride is still worthless. Hey, we got 1,500 people in the park, though. Look at that. We've got a, oops, I keep clicking that. So we've got that taken care of. We just got to get the park value and two more vendors in here. Um, and for five grand for park value, we could totally just cheat because we have a lot of money by uh, just going to uh, do, do, do. Uh, treasure chest worth ten thousand dollars. We'll just put that like right, right back in here. Just gonna hide it. I know it's cheating. Woohoo! Sixty thousand dollars of park value. I don't really know where I'm going to put another set of shops, though, and I don't know that we need another set of shops anywhere. That's the thing. I just don't see where we need a whole other set of shops. Oh, this never... I never finished this. Oops. Uh, entrance. Exit. And it's going to go right here, and I want the exit to kind of go down uh, this way here. When can you get on the ground, my friend? Can you get on the ground? Ever? There you go, you're on the ground. Like that, and then entrance. We will do a little more formally than that. Angle snap that thing on there. I'm not gonna build a building for this just yet. I don't know. Maybe one of these days I'll come back to this park and then we'll build a building for it, but I doubt it. Because the challenge is pretty much done. I'm just gonna hire two more of those temporary vendors. I know it's cheating, but they're not temporary. They're like relief vendors, but I just want to finish the park. Well, there we go. Q done. So I can open this guy. Uh, how the boats aren't piling up anywhere, are they? Nope. All right. And that should pull some people around this way. Um, I guess I could probably put a gift shop in over here because they've just had fun on that. So let's do that. Let's do a gift shop in. Uh, what do we have for gift shops? That's the one we've used. Pirate Wreck Gift Shop. Ooh, ooh. Oh, ho, I like that. I like that a lot. Just a momento. There we go. So that takes care of that. And then, you know what? We'll throw in uh, one other random shop somewhere. Uh... That's kind of piratey just to get this done without hiring another guy. Or maybe we'll hire another guy. I don't know because this one's kind of cool, but I don't have anywhere to put it is the problem. Right, there is nowhere to put this thing. It's big. Oh, right, you'll fit right here. Diggy cheeky. There we go. And that's our 15th vendor. So now we've just got to let them... Uh, the, the clock run out on all this. And because look, we're at 80% happiness for our staff. So we'll get there with everybody. All 
I really wanted to build a uh, a building and everything for this ride. I just didn't get to it. Um, nobody's really coming over here to ride this? Well, I really thought this would be incredibly popular. I, I really thought this would be outrageously popular. Maybe it's just taking them a minute to get here, because usually these things are incredibly popular. Poor Rocktopus. Look at these poor people that are sitting on it. I've got the wait time to where hopefully it will fill up. And look at them. They're all just sitting here like, is, is the ride? Is the ride going to start? Is the ride going to start? It's going to start any minute now. Oh my gosh, it's going to start any minute now. Yeah. Bless their hearts. Oh, well, having it right next to a really popular ride did not help me one bit. So... How much time do we have to go on our uh, vendors here? We are at 0.6 a month. Let's speed that along so that we can get our silver and our gold stars. We'll get the uh, silver here in just a second. Staff happiness is at 81% and I have to have 80% for that. I didn't realize that. Ooh. Make sure I keep these guys happy here. There we go. There is the silver star. 82% happiness, so they're coming up in happiness. The way we're gonna make that keep going up is by training everybody. Cause that'll boost their happiness significantly once they're in there. Wow, uh, for just one month, so we're a third of the way there. We're at 83%, so that's good. We should be there in no time at all. Still 83, almost half a month down. This is going to end at nighttime, isn't it? It's just so sad that nobody rides this. I don't know. Rocktopus is going to be a good family-friendly ride. But what do I know? I don't have a family. My children. I don't have children. Resident staff building. So you're trained up. Let's bring your happiness up. Yeah, we're at 84%. Almost there for the month. I know I'm dragging this one out. I'm sorry. Be a bit of a long video. I'll find something to edit out in the middle. That's a pretty good rapids ride. It goes really fast. Probably could have done with another splashdown point. That was only two, but whatever. I wasn't sure what to do back there. I needed to get it to turn around, but I also wanted it to fill up that space. So that's what it did. And then it gets kind of boring back there, honestly. But we can put scenery in there. I can have it like twist in. I could always adjust it. But here we go. Getting closer. And nobody rides this thing. It's just because it looks old. But see, these rides have all like started a resurgence. Like they're they're almost classics. They're reviving. 0 0.94, 0 0.95, 0 0.96. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Finally, we got our gold star in Gulpies Island Paradise. So that will do it. And until next time, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious. glorious. <laughs>